Southwest Guilford High School here in North Carolina. And it will be the Demon Deacons off the opening tip as the Aggies control for the first time today. Cameron Langley around the screen, working his way inside, and then the flush from Devin Haygood. One in Winston-Salem. They drop it off, they get the punch early. And the Aggies back on the attack, up 2 nothing early. And they're going to look to push it quickly, the Aggies. If not, they're going to get into their sets and make Wake Forest defend. And Ronald Jackson able to knock in. And the turnover as Haygood had it taken away from him. Here comes Brown, cut off nicely, trying to go baseline. You see us the foul line jumper and gets it to rattle home. Friendly rims at home. That's an NBA career as well. As Demon Deacons working around, UCS unable to connect on the three. Brown the rebound and the putback is good. An eight nothing run. But they got the second chance opportunity. Wake's got to figure out different ways to score the ball this season. And that's knocked in by Jackson. Ronald Jackson with his second three of the game. But the offensive rebound corralled by Oguama. He'll try it from the left wing and bang it in from the left wing. That's Adrian White, his first basket of the game. Off trying to go inside. Long two is knocked in for Ronald Jackson. He has eight. I'll tell you what, it didn't affect his shooting game whatsoever. UCS the baseline pull up and gets it to go. That's this basket for him. A smaller team. They're going to send five to the glass on the defensive end when the shot goes up. And the layup is good for Andre Jackson. First basket for the 6'4 senior out of Charlotte. So the Yankees right off, right off the ball screen. There's, there's no help from the, the ball. Aggies can tie or take the lead here. Langley ties it up with the layup. First basket for Langley. He averages seven a game. Hide your feet to guard the ball. Mike Forrest hasn't scored in over two minutes. They get it inside to Sar. The lefty hook goes. And the Demon Deacons clear. Three-pointer from Massoud from the right wing, and he bangs it home. Ismael Massoud, 6'8 freshman out of East Harlem, New York. And he looked extremely confident on that possession. Aggies get it into the post and a turnaround shot off glass and good. Related activities. Langley to the basket and able to get it to go off the window. Well, that's his third or fourth paint touch. Three from the left wing for Brown and he's able to bury it off the inbound. First three for Brown today, he's got seven. The coaches love to play two quick point guards. You can't get pressed. You can beat people with your drive game. Saar able to get that one to rattle in. Olivier Saar likes to face up. That's what he got to do there. It's in a Power 5 conference, and you're not. You have to limit your turnovers to 12 or less in 40 minutes. Three tough shot from the left wing, but Andre Jackson able to drill it. Some experience on this North Carolina a t team. This time they choked the post. They read that pass, good hands. Frank Cleveland gets a turnover and he knocks in the three. He just pulled it over half court and was wide open. Three from the left wing and that one is knocked in for Wake Forest. Adrian White gives the Dean of Deacons back the lead. Skip pass is deflected by Saar and here come the Demon Deacons. Down low it goes, lands good for Saar and he'll get a free throw. Wake Forest gets an offensive rebound. Saar, as Wake Forest almost turned it over, and Neath able to hit, and he'll go to the line for a three-point play opportunity. Wes Miller jumped right on it. Morris almost takes down the basket support with that slam. As he gets some more time under his belt. Childress, and he's able to hit. He's a bucket getter. Chicago, Fred Cleveland. Brown from the foul line, and that's good. And we've seen that quite a bit today, Paul. That's deflected. Shot clock continues to wind down, and it'll be a three-point play opportunity. That's a 1-3-1 look. That's different from the first half. First half, they were 3-2. That's a 1-3-1. Wake Forest, same attack right to the middle. Very well-coached team, the Demon Deacons. Danny Manning. I believe going to get this team off to a strong start in the second half after the new year. Baseline 
baseline drive, and it's converted off the glass by Jackson. And after a stretch, after they missed five straight shots, open three for the tie, and it's knocked in. Tyrone Lyons, his first triple of the game. And you see there, haven't scored in over three minutes. Brown able to change that, however, with the foul line jumper. He's been living at that foul line. He's got 16. Aggies looking to get back on top here. Nine to shoot for Cleveland. Gets it inside, and the jumper is knocked in for Ronald Jackson. Childress, however, gets the loose ball. The Sioux baseline, the reverse, and gets it to go. For Childress so far in this game, he's got four. Nice cut inside, unable to finish though. That was Webster Fillmore, but the follow is good for Tyrone Lyons. Cleveland trying to get it inside, but Childress comes up with the steal. Open, Masu knocks it down from deep. And here come the Aggies, all alone underneath with the flush. Lions with 10. It was Andre Jackson, and the offensive putback is blocked by Saar as Ronald Jackson, the one rejected. Here come the, the Demon Deacons, and the layup is converted. Jackson back the other way for the Aggies. Go into the post to Ronald Jackson. Now to Morris at the foul line, and he's able to drill it. Harry Morris. Morris working his way inside, kicks it out to Jackson. Andre Jackson aggressive, gets his own miss, and that time able to finish. Quickly up court go the Aggies. And then a three from Cleveland, and he's able to knock it in. Brown trying to operate through a double team, and he's able to operate and has a chance for a three-point play. And here come the Demon Deacons, but then Cleveland just picked the pocket of Brown. Cleveland inside, he hits. Oh, what a play by Fred Cleveland, Jr. Under six to play. Musius inside, able to convert. Soft touch to their two-point lead. Musius from the corner. Brown to the basket. He has another three-point play chance. It's a five-point lead for the Demon Deacons. Aggies looking to answer here. Cleveland, he'll put it up, and he'll drill it. He is fearless, the freshman. But this is the time of the game that Brandon Childress could take over. Johnny Brown's from the start. He has been, and he's got 25. And here come the Demon Deacons. Brown, one man to beat. And Musius tries to follow. He gets it back, and this time hits in the foul. Cleveland gets it taken away from him. All alone, and converting Corey Johnson for his second bucket. Going to pick up the victory. A 9-0 run to end the ball game for the Demon Deacons, who improved to 7-5 on the year.